Hi, this is Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to look at how we can use cross-channel posting to save time in Microsoft Teams. So what this essentially means is you may have a message that you want to write to one class or staff team, but you also want the same message in multiple teams and channels. So this quick trick will show you how you can post once and send it off to multiple teams and classrooms. I hope you find it useful. So what I'm going to do is just show you how a typical workflow may take place. So what I often see is, and I have done it myself as well, is I'll write a message in a particular team and then I want to put that in others. So what I'll do is I'll normally copy that message, I'll go into say for example another team such as test 2 demo and I'll paste that in. Now this can sometimes get too overwhelming if there's too many teams and channels that you want to paste a message into. So there is a way around this. So for example, I'm just going to go into the extra option now and I'm going to write my message in there. So you need to click the little A with the light paintbrush at the side. I'm then going to change it to an announcement just to show you how this can look. But you can just use a regular text one as well. And then make sure you choose post in multiple channels. You can do the same in a standard conversation as well. But I'm going to use an announcement. Then click post in multiple channels and select the channels that you want to post in. You can select multiple teams and multiple channels within each team. So for example here I'm going to go into my test channel and then also my secondary class. So I'm going to post this into this channel and then the other channels that I've selected. When I click on the send button now it will have sent that message into the various channels and teams that I have put it in. So for example here, test channel in the same team, but also if I click test 2 demo, it's in the general channel as well. I hope you found this useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. Thank you.